If you are still writing massive bash scripts to automate deployments, you might be doing things the hard way. In this video, I'll show you why Python has overtaken bash for DevOps and SRE scripting, with real examples, some crazy facts, and a few reasons why learning Python might literally land you your next high paying job. And stick around because at the end, I'll give you free access to hands on DevOps lessons, the same type of projects that helped me land two site reliability engineering jobs. Let's give credit where it's due. Bash has been the backbone of automation for decades. Need to quickly restart services, pass logs in production, chain commands together to debug a server. Bash is fast, built into every Unix system, and the perfect for quick one liners. But here's the thing as DevOps evolved, so did the complexity of what we automate. What used to be a five line Bash script is now 500 lines of YAML, API calls, and cloud infrastructure logic. Bash wasn't built for that level of complexity. Here's where Python wins hands down, readability and maintenance. Bash scripts get unreadable fast. Python on the other hand is almost self-documenting. Next, libraries and APIs. Modern DevOps isn't just shell commands, it's APIs, cloud SDKs, and config files. Python has libraries for AWS, Kubernetes, CICD, and many more. With Bash, you're stuck passing curl outputs. Another important point is testing and reliability. You can test Bash script, but nobody really does. Python has PyTest, login models, and exception handling, essential for production automation. Next is cross-platform and long-term scaling. Python runs everywhere. Complex workflows can be packaged as models, reused, and even containerized. Try scaling a 600 line Bash script across teams. Good luck. And here's an interesting fact for you. Did you know some companies have now banned large Bash script in production? because debugging them during incidents waste so many hours. SRE teams are rewriting old Bash script into Python for better reliability. Even in my team, I can confirm that. We use Python for about 90% of our automation. This isn't just theory. Here's how real SREs and DevOps engineers use Python daily. Instead of kubectl shell hacks, Python Kubernetes client lets you skill deployments, rollback, and check port help programmatically. Log passing and alerting. Python plus Splunk or Elasticsearch APIs is equal to automated incident detection scripts. Bash struggles with JSON heavy logs, CI CD workflows, Python script trigger builds, validate Helm chat, and even integrate with Algo workflows for GitOps pipelines. Another favorite for site reliability engineers incident runbooks. Many SREs runbooks are now Python scripts, automate failovers, restarts, and even database recovery. Should you learn Bash? Don't get me wrong, Bash isn't dead yet. You still need it for quick fixes, SSH into service, and one-liners. But if you want to build production-ready automation, Python is a skill that will level up your career. Think of Bash as the screwdriver, Python as the full power tool set. Here's the kicker, Python isn't just theory for me. The exact type of automation I'm talking about helped me personally land two high-paying SRE jobs. If you want to build these skills, I'm giving away free preview lessons for my hands-on DevOps SRE course. We will build Algo workflows, Kubernetes deployments, and real automation projects together. Make sure to sign up below, link in the description. Start now, because these are the exact kinds of projects that make you stand out to recruiters.